First date turned one night stand turned coming back for more. Jared, big fan of everything you do. Here's my situation. Guy added me on Instagram after liking each other's pics back and forth. I finally just messaged him with the classic, hey, you look familiar. And I don't want to hear judgment on this. I had a couple of glasses of wine. I actually think that is the perfect way to approach someone on Instagram. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you got, mm-hmm. you liked. Her screen name in every time to like a photo. There we go. So, and, and no, this is the dance of social media. I call it tapping on the window. Tap, tap, tap. Hello, like, like, like. And then they come back, like, like, like. It's like throwing the rock at the window. It's like you guys are in the 50s. It's very cute. This is perfect. And hey, you look familiar. Let's get the ball rolling. I love it. He then proceeds to ask me out. See, you got what everyone wanted. We go out. Really great date. Then we have another planned date, but our town gets an ice storm and he invited me over to watch a movie. And yes, I knew what this meant, but we got along really well and I wanted to see where it could go. I I think there's everything about this is great. Cut to the next day. I asked him to hang out again. He doesn't respond for two days. Tells me he just needs to see where he is in the couple days with work. Every day after that, this man would call me for at least an hour at a time, but never set a date. I finally stopped answering because this was a turnoff. Today, he messages me on Instagram. The following attached pictures are about three weeks of... Today, he messages me on Instagram. The following attached pictures uh, after about three weeks of not speaking. He's oh. obviously just cycling through Rolodex looking for a hookup, right? Does a man just want to wake does a man just wake up after 3 weeks and decide he misses the girl he hooked up with that one time or what? So let's read the DMs and we'll take out all the names and information to protect the innocent. So you be her, I'll be him. Oh, oh, where where you email me this? I sent that to you. Oh, via email or the chat, sorry. Email. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 hold on. Jared, all righty. LOL, oh wait, you're LOL. So right? he, no, you're LOL. He sent, so he, I guess he sent her something over Instagram after they haven't spoken for three weeks. Got and this it. is the conversation. And she's asking, she's basically, he's obviously just cycling through Rolodex looking for a hookup, right? Does a man just wake up after three weeks and decide he misses the girl he hooked up with that one time or what? So let's okay. see what. LOL, why are you sending me this crying laughing face emoji? Ha 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 ha. I'm serious, LOL. Does this remind you of me or something? Ha ha, no, just giving you a hard time. Well, thanks, LOL. He hearts that. You working? About to be. I go in at nine. Crying face emoji. What? Was going to see if you wanted some Mezcal. That, oh, no, girl, that would be fun. But to be honest, I think we're probably just... Oh, I think we're probably just looking for different things. Oh, yay, she saved it. You seem like you're looking for something more casual or whatever, which is totally fine, but not really what I'm looking for. Way to use your words. Well, I don't know about that. I'm open to a relationship. I'm just trying to know what that is. Mm. What do we think, Christina? Oh, my I, gosh. Ugh, this is a whole lot of nope. No, it, you're you're out. I'm out. A three weeks of silence, and then you don't. To me, whatever's going on, he doesn't have the capacity, the mental capacity to even say, "Hey, it's a really rough week." Because I've been there. I've been. Mm-hmm. I've been. I'll go on a dating app, or I'll match somebody, and then I'll start talking, and then I just fucking ignore them. And then, really, at the end of the day, what's happening is I don't give a shit enough about uh, pursuing anybody to to make something happen. So it seems like that's the energy that he's working with. And when it's convenient for him, when he has maybe a lull in work, then he's interested. I think you're totally right. But I, I think, listen, we can only speak to the emailer, as we said before. We can, and, and I think she's looking for answers from someone who has no answers whatsoever. He yeah. sent you a picture over Instagram. You asked him a bunch of questions, which, and you were very pleasant. This person was very pleasant. She was, uh, you know, well, thanks, LOL, about to be going in at nine. And then he says, let's do some mezcal. And then she's, she's direct. But the, mm-hmm. the problem with her direct is then she goes, Here, here's the one thing I, and I have this belief, just because you did don't mean, doesn't mean you will. Just because you went over to his apartment on the ice storm and you got physical and had a fun time doesn't mean you will go to his apartment anytime he asks. And that's okay. And I think it's one of those things where I mean, you, she writes, I think we're probably looking for different things. I would say 
if I was to like Monday morning quarterback this, if I was to like give her some revisions, and I'm not saying she did anything wrong because she got the answer of of no answer is of him being like, no, I'm just I don't know what a relationship is. You uh, that's insane. You know that that's just him. That's him keeping the ball in the air. He's basically saying. Yeah, he's he's trying to keep you as an option for another time. So uh-huh. keep the conversation going. Keep it positive. Of course, I want relationships. I don't know what that means, though. If I were her, I would say, listen, I'm not looking for something casual. I'd love to get a date. I'd love to go for a drink sometime. Tonight's not the night. Here's my number. Make a plan, and we'll see what happens. And now you've given him the ability to like do that thing because he has no answers <laughs> yeah and you know what this is reminding me of that's that was that's a great response actually if she fucking came out I'm, that's i'm gonna fucking remember that jerry you're good at this <laughs> uh you set a boundary it's like when a parent with little kids 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 want the parent to set a boundary they want to mm. know they want to test the waters and they want the parent to go, no, 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 I didn't say that. They want the parent to stick because that's order. Then there's structure. Then there's a relationship. Then there's a bond, right? So, so yeah, exactly what you said. If she would have said that, to me, that is setting a very clear boundary of, I'm not going to entertain this wishy-washy bullshit, but sure. if you want to fuck with me the way I want to get fucked with, with a guy, then that's exactly what we can do. Here's your opportunity. But if you miss it, that's on you. And I love the the example you gave of a child because it me to him, it's he's a child. He's... Yeah. It doesn't mean that much to him. It's not about you. He's not thinking right. of you as like hookup woman. He's not a dick. He's not ill intended. It's just no. It's, it's boundaryless now. So it's like it's like a person with no skin. Your organs are just out everywhere. And there's no direction. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video you just watched. I have many more. Subscribe to the channel right now. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, you fool. There's even a bell you can click to. Now you've got your week set Monday through Friday. I'm here for you.